Hi, I'm Sean Lee with Idea Engineering, and today we're going to be uh, showing you how to use the uh, eye gauging uh, one, zero to one inch uh, electric indicator with uh, adjustable magnetic base on it. And uh, here it is. Uh, let's open it up. It's got instructions, of course. Uh, it comes with uh, two 2032 batteries and uh, the actual indicator and the magnetic base. So, first thing you notice the uh, Magnetic indi or the uh, indicator won't turn on because there's no battery in it. We don't ship it with the battery since the battery will be dead by the time it arrives to you. So the first thing you want to do is pull the cover off the side here. Uh, you do that by pressing these two together and removing this insert. Then take uh, one of the batteries provided and you'll see inside the cover that it says plus look on the battery it says plus on the top put the plus down and push it in there it should stay so it won't fall out and then simply slide it back in now it'll seem to go in upside down like this okay and then once it snaps in place you'll see the digits come up okay so now that you've got that working we'll go on and uh, set this up I've got a uh, an anvil here I just took from the garage um, and we're going to measure something simple as uh, the difference between the height of this peanut butter jar and the jelly jar here. So if you're going to measure this normally, you could take a, a ruler and try to measure that, but that's not very accurate. So we want to accurately measure the difference between the center of this jar and the center of that jar. So how do we do that? Okay. Well, the first thing we want to do is take the magnetic mount and put it on the, the anvil here. Now. At first, if I put it on just like this, it won't stick. But you turn the switch to on, and now ah, I can't even get it off. Okay, so it's well stuck. So then loosen these uh, adjustments here, and we can move the arm. Okay, so now we're going to set up this arm. We want it to to move it above the the shorter jar, you know, um, and I can do that by loosening this knob here. You can do that here. And that allows me to adjust this way. It also allows me to move the arm uh, up or down. Uh, but you also have this knob here, which can adjust the whole arm up or down very with very fine movement. It simply pinches this together and, and apart. Um, and then out here on this axis, you have, of course, this knob, which will loosen uh, this, so you can t rotate that that way. And then this knob here, which tightens down the instrument on the, the aperture, the armature. Okay. Now, how do we attach the this device to the armature? So, what you want to do is you look on the back here. You'll see this little uh, uh, attachment point, and you want to unscrew this. Place the. Uh, the gauge on there, and then we'll put the, the washer and this guy back on. Well, not too tight. Okay. Okay, so now that I've got the base uh, attached to the anvil here, and I have it uh, on on, it makes it immovable. I can simply uh, adjust this so that it's setting down on the top of the grape juice uh, or grape <laughs> jelly lid there. And you'll see that it has the number one point whatever there. So I'm gonna zero that out and try not to apply any pressure. Um, okay, so it'll stay at zero. All right, and then to measure the difference, I'm going to remove the jelly jar and put the peanut butter jar in its place. Okay. And to do that, I simply uh, will pull up on this, remove the jar, and then I'll slide this in its place and let it back down. And I'll show you that as I do it here. Okay, so to remove the jelly jar, I'm not gonna just yank it out. You can actually pull up here, and then uh, remove the jar. Pull all this all the way up. And it doesn't quite fit under there, so I'm gonna angle the jar a little bit. Okay, and then I can let go. And we see that the difference is 23.45 millimeters between the two jars. Now if we wanted to 
confirm, see how accurate our setup here, which is not very accurate because I haven't stacked on boxes. Obviously, you want to have a stable surface to, to do this on. Um, but you can measure the difference between any two things like this. Um, so I'm going to take this back off. And then I'll put the jelly jar back on. And we're at 0 0.04 millimeters. So that's fairly accurate between the two. I just swapped them back, and there's only uh, four hundredths of a millimeter difference between the two measurements. So I'm um, pretty confident in that measurement. But uh, again, if you had a solid surface here, and this is obviously solid, that would uh, make a difference. Uh, so now we have this type, which is a, a you know, two solid bars, um, but we also have the flex type. So if you're attaching to something that's not solid like, like this or doesn't have a flat surface, you can use uh, this guy, which will attach to you know, any kind of uh, surface. It has flexible uh, metal rods here that are actually magnetized. So you can stick this on the side of a pipe or, or you know, on the side of this, you know, whatever you want to. Uh, and it has a, a flexible arm, so you can reach more positions and actually reach farther away. So I may not have to have this whole stack of boxes, maybe half that, to, to do this on the, the anvil. And this comes in uh, digital, just, just like this one does. Or all of these come with an analog gauge as well. So if you prefer analog, then we have that. And this one happens to be uh, coolant proof. So you can use it in you know, fairly hostile environments. Um, and so you have your choice of analog or digital, whichever you prefer. That's it for now. Thank you and have a great day.